Hi class, welcome to week seven of our course. Very exciting, we are in our last week. Um, this DQ, we will go over some stocks, so how to mo model stocks using um, an Excel sheet. So I do hope you guys find this a little interesting as we go through and do this. Okay, so what you're going to do to start with is you are going to go to that website and you are going to look up three different stocks that you want to um, invest. These can be stocks you already have, these can be stocks you want to invest in, or these could just be any stocks you are curious about. Um, to run through, run through an example, I'm going to go ahead and use Amazon stock just to kind of show you how the Excel sheet works and where to go from there. Okay, so um, I'm going to use the example I already have built, um, but when you go through and do this, you will find a stock. You will look up the closing price of it one year ago, um, and then we will record that information and go from there. I am pretending that this is October 28th, so I'm looking at a stock one year ago from October 28th. So I'm going to say I purchased this on October 28th, one year ago. Um, and my stock is going to be Amazon. Um, and when I look it up, Amazon is A-M-Z-N for the abbreviation. Uh, so if you don't know the abbreviations, you may need to look those up before you search in the website. Um, sometimes you can search the name and it will pull up. When you do open that website, on the left-hand side, you'll see a filter box. So you can start by typing in the name of the stock you want to look for. And then it'll pull up a page. You want to make sure you're on the quotes page. If you go down to the very bottom, there's a table where you can enter in dates. And so you can filter based on the dates and help find the uh, values a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm going to say I'm choosing Amazon. I'm going to have 100 shares of this. The second stock you choose, you'll have 300 shares of. And the third stock you choose, you'll have or sorry, the second stock you choose, you'll have 200 shares. The third one, you'll have 300 shares for a total of 600 shares. Um, the shares are going to be set and the flat fees are going to be set. So you'll have a flat fee of $5 and then you have one of $10 and then $15. All right. So I am choosing to do Amazon. I get on the website, I go look for it, I look for it today, and I see today the stock costs $1,176.66. Okay, so I do that. You can see that the closing price per share down here has already auto-populated. So that will happen as you fill in these first three rows. Um, I'm only gonna work through this first table and then I will let you guys work through the rest of the tables. You should be choosing three stocks. Try to stay away from Amazon because I am working through the example of Amazon right now. Um, if you do choose it, your values will be different because I'm doing October 28th and yours will be in one year ago, the date of the class. Okay, so to calculate my initial investment, I'm going to take the number of shares I have I'm going to multiply this by the price per share, and then don't forget to add in the fees of $5. All right, and then what we're gonna be doing from here now is we're gonna be calculating the uh, price per share for nine months ago, six months ago, three months ago, and then today to kind of track our gains and losses. So we're starting with um, October 28th. So three months after that will be in January 28th. And then after that will be in April 28th of 2020. And then after that, we'll be in July. And then that brings us back to October. Okay, so then I get online. I use that um, filter at the very bottom to filter by dates. And then I type in all of my cost per shares. So this one I looked up already. I have $1,853.25. $1,853.25. Um, and then it was $2,000. 314 and eight cents. And then I had 3,033. And then lastly, I had 3,162.78. Okay, so now I wanna go ahead and calculate the value. So now at this point we paid that flat fee so we don't have to worry about that anymore. And we can just go ahead and calculate the value of our 100 stocks, our 100 shares, sorry. So we'll take that 100 and we will multiply it by that closing price. And then I'm gonna use my autofill feature, fill this down. Okay, so now I wanna figure out how much I actually gained or lost. So this is where I need to go back up and refer to that initial investment. So 
with our very first day, we have actually lost money because of that flat fee. So we've actually lost $5. Um, to do the calculation, we will be taking our most recent value. So right now for this one, I'm taking the value for one year ago and I'm subtracting our initial investment. So as you can see, I have a loss of $5. And then I repeat that process for each of these. Each of these I want to subtract off that initial investment. So I'm going to fix my G2 before I do my autofill feature. And then now I can fill this down. So now as you can see, we have our stock that is today, it's at 316,000. Our initial investment is 117,000. So you can see we have gained $198,600. So if you invested in Amazon a year ago, you would have actually gained money by now. Um, so you will not always have a gain or a loss. It will not always be consistent. So keep that in mind, stocks do go up and down. So as you do this, you could have some negatives, some positives, um, it really just depends. If you have all positives, that means you're doing great and you're making money off of your stocks. Okay, so then you'll repeat this process for the next two tables, choosing two more stocks. And then at the very end, this is where we have a little tiny table here. We wanna find our total loss and gain. So what this is saying is for each period of time here, we wanna just figure out how much overall have we lost or gained through the process. So to do this, we will just total up all of our individual losses and gains for each of our different stocks. So as you can see for the first one, um, I only have Amazon in here, but I lost $5 at the very beginning. This first one here, this will be all those flat fees you have to pay. So for everyone, this will be a loss of $30. And then I can go ahead and autofill this down, and then this will calculate all of my total losses and gains. When you're done with this, you should take your very last number here. This is your most recent total loss of gains and then compare it to the total amount of money you invested and see if you actually would have lost or gained money overall. I hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions.